can we get a rant video about the elves and Aragon? Yeah, okay. This is the introduction song. It's not very good, but it's not too long. Okay, so Aragon, if if you don't know, I don't feel like explaining it, so just like go experience it yourself. I think it's a pretty good series, but I don't know, whatever. It's not what I'm here to talk about. I, yeah, yeah, I'm laying on the floor. Get over it. So, the elves are super obnoxious in Aragon, though, because, like, they're the Middle-Earth perfect elves from the Lord of the Rings movies, not really the books, but the movies, just turned up to 11. Because the thing is, the elves in Aragon are, like, these isolation isolationist tree people who with pointy ears, basically. Like, after the Dragon Riders were all killed off, they went into their forest, and they just sort of sat around and waited for more Dragon Riders to come and solve things. Which is weird, because they're supposedly these big badasses who can fight really well, and we kind of see that later, but... So, it seems like they just kind of decided to leave humans to their own fate, because humans are less enlightened than them. Because, r really, Christopher Paolini writing about the elves in Aragon feels like a weeaboo writing about Japan, except he's never been to Japan, and so he's only writing about what he's found through anime. That, well, I mean, that would be most weeaboos, but whatever. The point is, <clears throat> it feels like he's trying to make them as perfect as possible and gloss over any flaws or just not make any flaws, because they're, like I said, they're these enlightened tree people, okay? They live in the woods, they don't eat meat, they're all vegetarians because they can, like, telepathically communicate with animals and stuff, and they just know they don't want to be eaten, then they know others don't want to be eaten, so they just eat fruits, and they don't even cut down trees to make their houses, they, like, sing and use magic to make trees grow a certain way and live in them that way. Um, that's kind of dumb. And they just spend all their time just gaining knowledge and being really good at magic. And they also have this weird free love thing going on where they don't get married and they just, if two people decide to be together, they're, then they are, and if they're not, they're not. And they, they, they barely ever have children either, and that's never explained, I don't think, because, like... They never mention any sort of birth control or anything. It's just like, yeah, elves don't have children very often. And also they're immortal, so it's okay that they don't have children very often. It's just yeah, it's it's just dumb. And then uh they, they like have equality between men and women and the humans are shown to be misogynistic, so they're like, oh, humans are so silly and dumb and then at the same time the elves are like speaking of enlightened, they're these hardcore atheists, which is, like, their reasoning for it, and, like, the entire race are atheists as far as we see, and their reasoning for it is that, like, well, there's just not enough evidence to support deities being around, and I mean, like, okay, I don't disagree with your reasoning, but the way it's shown in the books is, like, really obnoxious, and I just kind of am reminded that Christopher Paolini was in a cult when he was a kid, um... But let's not get too deep into that. Look, um, <clears throat> anyways, the, the elves, like, yeah, they're just, their atheism is kind of obnoxious and just feels, well, no, it just, it just feels obnoxious. And then, I mentioned earlier, they're supposed to be these big badasses, and they are. They're like, you know, they're immortal, and they spend all their years learning about how to do amazing magic that humans can't do, and uh, because of their bond with the dragons... It makes them, like, harder, better, faster, stronger than humans could ever be. Except for dragon riders, obviously. And, uh, so, when they f when the they finally get involved in the war at the end of the series, they kick crazy ass and they cut through all the human armies like crazy, and it's just like, why didn't you guys do this before? Why didn't you do this a hundred years ago? Like, you're supposedly fighting Galbatorix because he's evil, but, like, you couldn't do that earlier, why not? Why not? Do it earlier. You, you could have saved everyone trouble, whatever. Um, and what else was there? Was there was there anything else about the elves that was dumb? Oh, they're impossibly beautiful, too. Like, all of them. Like, they can change their appearance at will, but even, like, by default, they're just extremely beautiful by human standards. Like, you know, they're super fair, and their eye, their 
skin and eyes are like glistening and bright and all that. Uh, and they're immortal, so they can just do whatever they want forever. It's like, it's... The term Mary Sue gets thrown around too much t these days, but I mean, the elves are a Mary Sue race because they're like, e even the people that dislike them, uh, for the most part, are shown to be, like, dumb or ch shown to be wrong. Like, the humans who are afraid of elves stealing their children are shown to be superstitious and stupid. And, uh, like, literally the wiki, the wiki page for elves for in Aragon the top quote is someone just saying, bah, the elves, all they do is sit around and wait to be conquered, and by the end of the series, it's like they're trying to show him wrong by throwing the elves in there, but like I said, the elves were just kind of hanging around, not helping anybody. So th that's really what a Mary Sue is. Well, that's part of what a Mary Sue is, is that like the people that hate them are shown to be wrong in every way because, oh, why wouldn't you like the elves? They're amazing. So it's just, it's just dumb. And... I mean, there's something, a bit of a non sequitur, I know, but, like, there's something about the races in the series where, like, the dwarves seem to be, like, this masculine ideal where they're, you know, they're really tough and gruff and they fight a lot and they have big beards and they're constantly being, I, I don't know, they, they just seem like a masculine ideal, whereas the elves are, like, beautiful and intelligent and uh, always looking for knowledge, and the, basically they're more cerebral than the dwarves, so they're supposed to be like this feminine ideal, I guess. And I, I forgot where I was going with this, may, but I guess this might be an interesting essay topic or something one day, uh, because, I mean, I'm not going to jump to any conclusions here, but I will say that the elves didn't actually want to fight until they were forced to, so uh, I don't know, what's that say? I don't know, I'm, I'm not, whatever, I'm not making any real statements on that, just, whatever, that, whatever, just, people wanted rants, I, the elves in Aragon are obnoxious for all the reasons I just listed, and that's it, uh, patron names here, woo, thanks, and it's a rant video, you don't need all your names said, bye.